Hello everybody. Welcome back to Cheap Hussy. I'm Sabelle, the Cheap Hussy. And today I wanted to come to you and I wanted to talk a little bit about written budgeting and why it's a great idea to do a written budget for yourself so you know where your money goes. Uh, there have been lots of studies that have proven that when you write things down you actually remember them and you comprehend them better. And there's no better place to apply that than with your own money no matter what you're working towards, whether you're working towards savings, vacation, whatever, having a budget is a great, a great way to know where all your money is going. So I work with what's called a zero-based budget. So a zero-based budget means like at the beginning of the month you have zero money, all of your money is given a task, it's all assigned to something, and then at the end of the month you should balance out to zero again. Um, every penny in a zero-based bu budget has a destination. So, I use a system called a cash envelope system. I know that my budget for food for a month is $120. So, at my first check in the month, I put $120 into a really cute little envelope that I have, and that is my grocery money. When you pay cash for things, you will spend less. It's been statistically, scientifically, psychologically proven. We don't like to give up our money. When we swipe with debit cards and credit cards, the money does not have the same, uh, we're not as present with the spending of the money as we are when we really have to actually physically hand someone our cash. So I like to use a cash envelope system. Now, last year I used a um, written system, which was free printables from a woman that goes by the Frugal Fanatic. Her name is Addie. For the life of me, I cannot find Addie's last name on any of her information. But this is what her binder for this year looks like. This is the cover. These are all free printables. I will put the link down below. And if you can see, she uses this basic system. Basically just what comes in, what comes out. She has fixed expenses and variable expenses. This year I decided I was gonna try something new. So I'm using this system, the Budget Crush Workbook, also free from a woman name. Uh, she goes by the Budget Mom. Again, I'll put her information below. Her name is Kamiko Love. And Kamiko does a system more like this where she divides the um, variable expenses and the fixed expenses. Both of them are great. Um, I love Daddy's system. I just thought I would try something new this year just to try it out and see if I liked it better. I would say they're really comparable. You can look at them and decide which one you think works for you. Like I said, they're both free. I'll put the links below. Basically, with budgets, you have your fixed expenses, which is your rent, your car insurance, your car payment, things you know are going to be the same amount every month, and then you have your variable expenses or your variable spending. That's going to be things like groceries, clothing, entertainment. And when you start to write these down, that is where you can start to slice your budget up and really cut down on where you're spending things. It gives you the opportunity to really take control of your money and it also gives you the opportunity to take this money that you may have been spending on stuff that really just doesn't help you in any way and just completely cut it out. Because once you see where the money's going, you will start to, you'll probably be fairly shocked. Most people are fairly shocked how much they spend on something. Um, it's like, I call it poor math skills because it's like, it's the kind of the math, math skills that keep people really poor is that they really don't realize how much they're spending on something that they buy every day, what that really ends up being at the end of the month and what a big impact that is when you can just get rid of one or two things that you're buying every day and suddenly you're freeing up all this money that you can either put towards other things like debt or you can save. So that's another thing. I personally right now do not have any debt, but I have had debt in the past. And when you wanna pay down your debt, having a budgeting system like this where you know where you can cut your budget where you know that you can free up some money and you can take that money and you can put it towards that debt is just, it's great. You know, it, debt keeps everybody awake at night, or at least it did for me. We've all gotten into the habit of using credit cards for everything, which is another reason having the cash envelopes is a really great idea because you suddenly see how much you're actually spending on things and it's, it's just more apparent to you. Like it's really, when you have to physically hand over the money, such a big difference and you will start to really look 
at how much you're spending when you have to actually dole out that cash. When you swipe with a credit card or debit card, it's almost kind of mindless. And now with apps, they're making it even easier. Now you can just wave your phone and it comes right off of your credit card. You don't realize though that that $1 soda that you just bought and waved your phone, if you don't pay that off that month, you're getting a 21% interest charge on a $1 soda. That's crazy. So write things down, keep your receipts, try doing a written budget for at least a month. It takes about three months before you really get in the flow of it. And I te can tell you right now, the first month, you're just gonna be shocked how much you spend on some things. You, you really, like I said, because we just kind of spend and we don't keep track of it. And all of a sudden, it's like this wake up call that you're spending so much money on this one, one area and you can really cut back. You can save that money. You can put it towards something else, vacations, buying a home, a new car, whatever you want. But I really encourage all of you to try a written budgeting system. So I'm gonna put the links to the Budget Mom. I'm gonna put the links to the Frugal Fanatic. I've also included on my playlist some videos by them. Um, I'm also going to uh, put a link to Dave Ramsey. He has a system called the Every Dollar System, which you can do on an app. Personally, I don't love the app. I think writing it, handwriting it, is the best way to go. It really cements the idea of your budget when you handwrite it. So I'll put all of those links below. And I'll see you guys on Sunday. I'm going to make stock from scratch, and then I'm going to show you how to take that stock and make it into a very simple kind of fancy soup. And I'll see you then. Please subscribe, like, share, ring the bell, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. This is Sabelle. Bye.